Hello everyone, this is Raouf and today we are going to talk about T-List view component in Delphi and exactly I will show you some tips and the tricks to become more familiar with this component. So let's get started, go to Delphi, file a new multi-device application and choose a blank application, uh, go to the tool palette, added a T-List view component and uh, make it in the client of the form and added a T prototype uh, bind source and it's just a simple uh, data generator to give us some simple data select the list view one and go to the item appearance property as you can see it contains some other properties with the predefined uh, uh, captions and predefined values uh, we have to change it to dynamic appearance and you have to notice that everything that I'm going to do today is uh, available only for Delphi developer who have a Delphi uh, 10.1 and uh, the newest version. Now let's add some sample data. I need to uh, get some strings and also some pictures uh, plus some integers. That's all. Save everything we have done. The next thing to do is to switch to the uh, design mode so we can use the item designer. As you can see, it, the item itself contains three parts, the header and the item itself and also the footer. Now let's try the item designer. I will add uh, or change the, the the name of the object, appearance object name to title uh, to give it a meaning. And uh, let's uh, try some other properties. Uh, let's change the font of this uh, object and uh, the size and whatever I want. I have the ability to uh, choose and change the position and everything else about the text object. It's easy. And the best thing is that we can add the new, new objects. We have five types of objects every one should do something uh, some of them to just show data and uh, there is uh, one uh, called the accessory it's not uh, exactly to show data it's just a button with a gulf on it you you can uh, show data on a button also you can uh, use an image to show to show an image and uh, this all of them five now I will add then uh, an image and change its place. I will add another uh, text button. It's just a simple button with a text on it. I will call it a value to hold the value. Uh, let's try the mouse. It's not good. As you can see, I don't know where is the problem, but we have to do it uh, using the property and the object inspector to make it better. 100, good. And alignment to trillion and the offset x to 0. We will use the uh, live binding designer to link between prototype bind source and uh, its data with the list view one. It's easy and uh, let's see our application right now. Now let's make our application looks better. Uh, with this code, it's very simple and easy to understand. This code gives you the ability to change the color or whatever you want. This is just an example. You can change the color of the, the button. The change the, the tint color of this component using the value so if the value is more than zero or greater than zero the, the tint color will be green and if it's uh, less uh, the color will be red run the application on my android device and see how it's look like
Let's try another example. This time we will use the T image list component. Added uh, two pictures, uh, a picture for a man and a picture for a woman. Go to list view one and added the simple uh, text object to item appearance. Call it uh, gender. Also, we need to uh, generate some boolean value. Now it's time for co uh, for coding. Let's declare two variables. The first one, image, and it's a T list item image. Uh, and added another one, uh, call it gender, and it's uh, it will be a T list item text. Uh, both of them are to get access to the objects. So uh, to get access to this objects, we have to use the parameter a item type the name of the the object and using this tape safe casting we can get the proper value and the right value we will do the same and uh, both for uh, image and uh, and the gender with this line we can do everything because if the value is the the boolean value is true the if we convert it to integer it will become 1 and if it's false it will become 0 and we give it this value to the image index property to avoid some problem we need to add this check uh, this if condition to check the value of gender if there is a value or there is no value it's important to add this line don't forget to, get to, to go to leave binding designer and remove the link between item pick and contact bitmap and added a new one between the boolean fields and the item gender. The last step is to connect and link between the list view one and the list image one and uh, this is the final result. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.